Hello and welcome to the Backline Report. My name is Carlos Torres, along with Fred Alvader. Every week, we check in on the world of golf to bring you the latest news, insights, analysis, interviews, recaps, previews. Hey, we cover anything and everything golf. In other words, if it happened in golf, we have it for you. Fred, hi, how are you today? Carlos, I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of bummed. You know, it's after Labor Day now. The football season started. Golf is over, right? It's, uh, you know, I... The uh, fall season hadn't even started. They just wound up the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. Uh, you know, it was pretty dull here. But, but uh, you know, normally we'd be kind of watching the European Tour at this time of year and seeing what's going on. The BMW Championship uh, is happening. And, you know, that – but, yeah, oh, guess what? There's more LIV news. We got a, we got a row. We got a fight going on in, in London. What, what, what's going on there, Carlos? Well, there's two players, John Ram and Billy Horschel. Both of them, you know, they have been very vociferous voices in favor of the PGA Tour. In that battle against the LIV golf, they called out some LIV golfers by name when to this week's uh, flagship tournament, uh, the DP World Tour. At the LIV the guys are playing on the DP World Tour? I thought they were suspended. They are suspended, but as you know, they want an injunction to be playing there. So the thing is this, Billy Horschel and John Ram. They call out, but let's start with John Ram. He did went on to clarify that he had no issue with Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood, Graham McDowell, all or Ian Poulter playing this week's event because you know they've done their thing about the Ryder Cup. They've done their 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 let's say all their history and everything that they have with the DP World Tour. But he was frustrated that other players, and he said such as Abraham Answer, Taylor Gush. He didn't name names, but Billy Horschel did. We're taking up spots that some other players that have played 20 DP World Tour events this year cannot be given the opportunity to play on the flagship event because some people that earn it. That's what he said. Are being, are being given the opportunity when they couldn't care less about the event. That's what Ram says. Billy Horschel. Well, they basically can't care less about the DP World Tour is what they're saying because they, they went to play another tour. We'll get to that. Now, <laughs> Billy Horschel saying the same thing about the Abraham answer and Taylor Gush. Hey, you know what? You never care about this event and you're here right now. Well, it's here because they're trying to get world ranking points around it to finish in the top 15 in the world. And that's clear as day, right? So that's the, the what's going on. There's some tension there in, uh, in Wentworth with the LIV guys, 18 of them playing. And uh, definitely, what's your take on this? Well, things are definitely heating up uh, on the uh, with the in the European front with the LIV versus the DB World Tour. Uh, CEO of the DB World Tour, Keith Pelly, um, they they had a meeting yesterday in London, a players' meeting, and the LIV actually chartered a flight. Uh, from Boston, flew overnight to London so that the players that are playing in the LIV event, Boston, could be at this meeting with the European Tour players. And so you've got a couple issues going on. One, like you say, 